So they figured that they would delude us by picking somebody who they thought would in fact represent us better with a football than with a degree in philosophy. That was Jamal Bryant calling out Herschel Walker and the Republican Party's continuing legacy of racism and manipulation in Georgia's current Senate race. Pastor Bryant, an Atlanta-based faith leader and social justice advocate, breaks it down for us in this fiery clip, comparing the former football star and Republican candidate who has been described as daft and rough around the edges, which is to say, a blundering fool, to incumbent Democratic challenger Raphael Warnock. You see, this is the first time that two black candidates are vying for the same Senate seat in Georgia. And this is no coincidence for Pastor Bryant, who makes sure to call out the Republican Party for leveraging identity politics to prop up a straw man candidate in an attempt to defy the unified black caucus in Georgia and their strong progressive impulses. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Republican Party of Georgia moved Herschel Walker from Texas to Georgia so that he could run for Senate, it's because change was taking too fast in the post antebellum South. The state had been flipped blue and there are some principalities that were not prepared for a black man and a Jewish man to go to Senate at the exact same time. Brian points at a long withstanding tactic of the right, exploiting the image of popular black figures with self-destructive beliefs or no beliefs at all to appeal to those communities that they have difficulty connecting with otherwise. Probably because their policy is tailored more towards those who have historically held positions of wealth, status, and power. They thought we were so slow, that we were so stupid, that we would elect the lowest caricature of a stereotypical broken black man as opposed to somebody who is educated and erudite and focused. Y'all ain't ready for me today. Herschel Walker is a wealthy black celebrity, popular with communities often out of reach for the Republican Party, and with enough incentive and political grooming, can become a fragile but powerful political glass cannon, mobilizing those into political action that would have not otherwise, but do so for facetious or even potentially dangerous or misinformed reasons. Since Herschel Walker was 16 years old, white men been telling him what to do telling him what school to go to, where to live, where to eat, where to buy a house, where to run, where to sit down, where to sleep, where to pay for abortions, where to buy a gun. And they, you think they not gonna tell him how to vote? in 2022. And ultimately, we must see through the empty gesture of his candidacy, not an earnest attempt on the part of conservatives to diversify the Republican voice, to meaningfully appeal to the needs of the black constituency, but a manipulative attempt at presenting a substantive base for black voters in a perversion of identity politics. And to be clear, when we talk about identity politics, we talk about having an elected body that reflects that shared experience, the shared shared experiences and convictions of the communities that make up this country. When they evoke identity politics, it's always to prop up contentious figures that undermine the widely understood and accepted story of oppression in America. And when we consider candidates who we choose to send to Congress, we consider them on the merits of their policy and governance, how they symbolize our ethical and political aspirations, and not how they can be used to further confuse and manipulate the American people for our own personal political gain. We can think for ourselves, function for ourselves, and vote for ourselves. Why? Because we don't need a walker. And Pastor Brian knows what's up. This is Adrian Costa of Rebel HQ. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.